everyone, welcome to DA College video. I'm Yalda and today I want to teach you some useful vocabulary and expressions that you might hear or you will use whenever you go to a dentist. So we're talking about dentistry. Uh, whenever we, you just like hear the word dentist, what comes to your mind? Of course, we want to talk about something that is related to your mouth okay your mouth what do you have inside your mouth so you have tooth just pay attention how I pronounce it tooth so you have to for the th sound at the end of the word so you have to put your tongue between your teeth and say th, tooth and the plural, so when you have just one tooth, so you say tooth, if it is more than that, two, three, and more, so you have to say teeth. So you will have tooth in your mouth. You have, if you're a baby, so just like kids, they have milk tooth or baby tooth. And so you will lose them, right? And then you will have adult tooth okay adult tooth which so these actually tooth they are all permanent and wisdom tooth so we have four usually wisdom teeth so you have four and they are at very back of your mouth okay and sometimes they cause problem and um, so tooth, so all your teeth, they have roots like this. And of course, they're all with your gums. So you see just like this pink part in your mouth that actually just keep all your teeth together. So you call it gums. Just be careful. You always use it as plural, okay? gums you never say gum okay so you have to say gums okay so this is what you have in your mouth so whenever you have pain in your actually just like one of your teeth okay so what do you have to do of course you have to go and see your dentist okay so what causes a toothache so it means pain in your tooth. A cavity is one reason. It means you might have a hole in your tooth, okay? And um, so it hurts a lot, of course. Or you can say, I have a cavity or I have a rotten tooth. Or an abscess, so whenever it is swollen and is so big and painful, so you can say, I have an abscess. So you have to go and see a dentist. Sometimes your tooth might be broken, so you can say, my tooth is chipped. Chipped, not cheap, chip, okay? So because you have I, it is short sound, chip, chipped. Okay, so whenever you feel the pain, the first thing you have to do is uh, booking an appointment with your dentist, okay? So you should book an appointment with your dentist. So whenever you go to your dentist, the first thing, uh, your dentist will check all your teeth, right? So you may need to have a checkup. So your dentist will check all your teeth and you might need to have an x-ray, right? Take a picture, right? And find out what's going on there. And they will find the rotten tooth, okay? So they have to fix it now. What the dentist will do? The first thing, to will have an injection of local anesthesia local it means just in that part okay not everywhere in your mouth just the part that to be next uh, fixed 
okay? So you will get or you will have an injection of a local anesthesia. After having it, of course, your gum will be numb. Just be careful. So this is how we write it, but we don't pronounce b, right? You say numb. Okay, after that, so your dentist will start fixing your tooth. For fixing your tooth, they have to drill your tooth, okay? They have to drill it and you might need to have a filling after that drilling. You need a filling to fill your tooth. If it is very bad and it just like damage your root, so you might need to get a treatment, root canal treatment. So after doing the root canal, they usually use a crown or a cap to support and protect your tooth from just like being broken, right? Because your tooth will be very, very fragile after root canal treatment. So for protecting it, so you need to have a crown or a cap. If it is very, very bad and there is no way to fix it, probably your dentist should extract, extract your tooth or pull the tooth out. Okay? So extract your tooth. So you know, just like before all the things, the best thing is just like, Go and see your dental hygienist every year to do, or maybe every six months to do the cleaning, right? And uh, for bleaching, some people, they like to bleach their teeth to make it wider. And so of course you have to brush your teeth regularly and floss your teeth. Then you won't need a dentist. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Uh, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, DA Education Center, and whenever we upload a video, you will be notified and you can watch it there. We have 70 something, 74 probably videos there, so you can go there and watch them all. You can also join our Telegram channel. I um, actually post daily all the lessons there, and uh, I'm gonna just like put the address of the Telegram in the comment area, so you can go there and join. Thank you for watching this again. See you in the next lesson.